What's up everyone, Customize Apple here, and today I'll be doing a review on Notes Enhancer. Do you use Notes a lot, but you never really thought that it lived up to its full potential? Well now I have a tweak for you called Notes Enhancer. And as you can tell from the name that I'm guessing you know it's a notes tweak, duh. We'll go ahead and open it up. And we'll create a new note. Okay, or we'll create one for ourselves. And you can see that there are different options right there. You can see that there's tab, enter, copy, color, font, minus, and plus. Now I'll go ahead and show you how to work this. As you can tell right here that I actually have to create a new note, so we'll push the plus button. And as you can tell right here, probably the most obvious one would be tab. Go ahead and click tab, and you see that it is just like on a computer when you hit tab. See, if you want to make an indentation for something like when you're making a letter, like I'll show you for example, tab, dear John, comma, and you can see right there that it did tab it perfectly and you can see right here that there is an enter button which obviously brings you down to the next line so you can type I don't know hi oops how are you doing question mark and you can see right here that if you click the copy button it obviously just copies what you're saying so if I go ahead and try and paste it, I don't even know where the heck I'm pasting it at. Okay, I'll paste it at the end. Paste, you can see right there that it did paste exactly what I just said. Go ahead and erase that to get back to the beginning. And you can see right here that there is color. Now what that actually do is if you click it, you can see that it changes different colors. Now you can't select any one word and change the color or font or anything like that. I've already tried it. And I'll go ahead and show you just to prove it. You can see I'm selecting you, and if I change the push the color button, the whole thing still changes. So I don't really like that feature, but you know you get what you pay for. And you can see the next one over is font. If we go ahead and click that, you can see that it magically disappeared. That's just fantastic. Okay, I'll type in nothing because it's not popping up. Uh, oh, that's because the font lowered itself about 90 millimeter. We'll go ahead and click font. Now it's working. You can see that it is changing font. I like that font. And you can see right here that obviously I've already, I had to use these anyway, so this is a giveaway. Next one over is minus and plus. You can see right here if you click minus, it lowers whatever you're doing. Well, the word size, there we go. If you click plus, it uh, it makes it larger. I couldn't think of the word. See, and you can keep plusing it until you get to the right size. And once again, I'll show you. If you select any one word like doing, and if I click plus, it still changes the whole dang thing. Maybe they'll fix that in an upgrade? I don't know. But when this tweak first came out, the only thing on here was that tab button, the first one on the left. So, you know, you never know. They might come out with a, oh, a, 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 a little, little upgrade for this to fix that. We'll find out, though. But do you think this tweak is worth it? I don't know. Worth 99 cents? Uh, we're going to find out. But you can find if Notes Enhancer in the Big Boss repo for 99 cents. Thank you all for watching. That's all for this review. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up and comment below, and remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter, and check out my blog. As always, I'll catch you all in the next one. This is Customize Apple, signing out.